I will share with you a shocking statistic. According to the World Health Organization, worldwide, 10% of children and adolescents experience a mental disorder, but majority of them do not seek help or receive care. Suicide is the fourth leading cause of death in 15 to 19 year olds. The consequences of not addressing mental health and psychosocial development for children and adolescents extend to adulthood and limit opportunities for leading fulfilling lives. According to UNICEF, there are 1.3 billion adolescents in the world today, more than ever before, making up 16% of the world's population. Defined by the United Nations as those between the ages of 10 and 19, adolescents experience a transition period from childhood to adulthood, and with it, significant growth and development. These adolescents are the future of our world, our future leaders, our future CEOs, our future scientists, environmentalists, techies. And it's our responsibility to ensure their well-being. While this data shows that 160 million adolescents in the world today are suffering from a mental disorder that needs serious medical intervention, I, as an adolescent, believe that each one of us needs support to tie through the anguish of being an adolescent. The examination stress, pressure of studies, peer pressure, competition, managing friendships and relationships, bullying, racism, body shaming. The list is endless. We need a ramp to get into adulthood. Where is that ramp, that support? There's no concrete solution available in the market today that caters to adolescents when it comes to mental health. But the truth is, our mental health matters. When we bring up technology when talking about mental health, we always seem to view it as an antagonist. Technology has always been known to impact mental health negatively, increasing issues such as depression and anxiety. But what if I told you technology can be good for mental health? Have you ever heard of Metaverse, ARVR, Web 3.0? A Metaverse is a collective virtual open space created by the convergence of virtually enhanced physical and digital reality. It's physically persistent and provides an enhanced immersive experience. There was Web 1.0, a read-only internet. Then came Web 2.0, where the user could interact with the internet. The metaverse gives rise to Web 3.0, an amalgamation of all these new technologies. What's special about the metaverse is that it makes the user feel like they're physically present, but they're not actually physically present. So it provides anonymity, convenience, and it does not limit treatment, as in there are countless tools that could be utilized in the metaverse that could not be utilized in real life. A randomized control trial conducted recently evaluated the efficacy of immersive cognitive therapy in lowering anxiety of individuals with psychosis. And it found the greater the intensity of symptoms, the greater the efficacy of immersive cognitive therapy. Another study conducted, which is actually a very interesting one, placed individuals with severe depression in virtual simulations, where they had to comfort a crying avatar with compassionate words, and then switch roles and receive the comfort as well. This led to a significant decrease in depression severity and a significant increase in self-compassion. The metaverse can reportedly develop creativity 
and social intelligence in teenagers. Apart from efficiency, the metaverse can make mental health more accessible. People are able to access mental health support without geographical limitations because it's virtual. Moreover, the minimum requirement to access an immersive experience of metaverse is not an AR VR device as of yet. It's just a phone or a technological device. And everybody has a phone in times of today. Hence, it's easy for everyone to access. Making mental health accessible would make it a right instead of a privilege, which is the ultimate goal. My name is Anushka Jolly. I'm 14 years old, and I've been working on adolescent mental health for more than four years now. When I was younger, I got severely bullied, and it led me to deal with agonizing mental health issues for over a year. But this pushed me to create my own organization against bullying and mental health. I've been able to reach out to over 2 million adolescents in over 20,000 different schools, and I hope using this idea, I can reach out to many more. The need of the R is an anonymous, affordable, community-driven, modern digital platform that brings personalized and the right level of support for our young people. I aim to build a metaverse-based digital platform that democratizes access to mental health for adolescents. It aims to provide access to affordable mental health resources and support. Imagine a virtual world where, with a click of a button, you have access to world-class mental health professional experts, where you can use meditating zones or calm your mind, where you can meet or create a like-minded community, all while choosing to maintain your anonymity. I want to create a future-ready digital mental health platform that combines the power of blockchain, AI, immersive therapy, and metaverse technologies to provide the adolescents with a decentralized, immersive, data-driven, gamified, and secure application. In order to provide that support, the idea is to develop three zones on this platform. First, a counseling zone, where you can, while maintaining your anonymity in your avatar, talk to professional counselors and seek professional help. Second, a community zone, where you understand you're not the only one in this ordeal, where you can relate to people, talk to people who have been through the same issue as you or are going through the same issue as you. You feel supported. You feel encouraged. You can take and give support to each other, share your stories, share your experiences, all without the fear of being judged or questioned. In my experience, I've noticed, usually, when you're going through a mental issue, the one thing you require most is just somebody to listen to you, somebody to be there for you, without judgment, without questions. And that's what Community Zone aims to provide. And the most interesting and intriguing of all is the mind-relaxing zone, where you can be wherever you want and do whatever you wish, partake in any activity to calm your mind. In short, you can create your own bubble of happiness and let yourself relax from the chaos of mundane life. All these three zones, all these three features are amplified because the experience is immersive. And since the platform is for adolescents, they're already familiar with the metaverse experience. They play immersive games online. As an entrepreneur, I've always believed in technology. I've always believed in the benefits of technology and how it can help someone grow immensely, how it can bring positive change, especially for startups. I've always used technology. I've always incorporated it in my past approaches, and I will continue to do that in the future. Now that I'm starting to focus on mental health as a whole, I will be making use of futuristic technology to do the same. 
metaverse and immersive technology. Thank you.